Hi and welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So another video today, I wasn't going to post one today, but this has just arrived in the post. So this is the Bayang Toys X28. I ordered this a little bit ago off Gearbest and it didn't come into stock, so it's now arrived. So as you can see, it comes in a case, which is unusual. So in the case you get instruction manual, uh, manual for the app, where to download it. The phone holder, which I'll show you in a minute. Also, in that piece of the box comes the charger, which I will be using because I've got a toy. Uh, it's a toy grade charger, so I'll be using the hobby grade charger, which is I'll show you in a minute. Which is another major feature. And in here you get the drone. As you can see, it's really nice packaged. So let's just take everything out of here. So you get the controller, the drone, screwdriver. A uh, little bar to put in here to undo your prop nuts so the bar would slip through there and four washers which go under here to keep the props tight and a pack of spare props so let's just move the case out of the way as nice as it is so here we go so you'll have probably seen this before on Gearbest site they also do a, an X30 the X30 is the brushed version of this so this is brushless so as you can see it's got folded arms and the arms just lock into position so as you can see it'll lock into place and then a bit of force will just push it back now I have not flown this and I'm not going to have time to fly this for a couple of days because the things that I've got on and the weather's not that great here either but what I wanted to do was just get your video to show you what it looks like in the box only thing I have done is hovered it it's extremely quiet then motors hardly make a noise they're almost silent. Now another little thing, I'm not saying this thing is going to fly superb or anything, I don't know, I've not flown it. But the props look like they have been done so you can, they've been balanced. I'm guessing that's what they look like they've been anyway. It has 1080p camera, which is adjustable only from here, not from the app. There's no motor in there or anything. And it has a micro SD card slot. So currently this is £88 at Gearbest for everything you see here in the case and stuff. Um, and it looks really good value for money with a 1080p camera. It's got 22 minutes flight time they think. And the massive bonus with this drone over others is the battery. For once it isn't a proprietary battery. It's a 2S. Let me just see what this says on it. 2S 2000 milliamp hour battery. You can buy these anywhere. JST connector on the end of a normal balance, balance plug. You're probably going to get one of these for about tenner. Um, I don't think you can be able to get something bigger. We might be able to. You'd have to have a measure. There isn't that much room. So I'm guessing you're probably maxing out of this. But if you get a compact, maybe a zippy compact or something, you might even get 2200 in this kind of form factor. So massive advantage is that. Battery slots in the back, and then this is the controller. So, the controller has no antennas, so they haven't bothered trying to put fake ones on top, and I admire that because they'd be fake if they were on the top, so they haven't bothered. Inside, it runs on four AA batteries, there's not rechargeable, and then here you have a clip, and that is really tight to get off. That comes off, and in here. Is another thing that I love about it is that clips in there and your phone actually goes here so you have your phone at the side I'll just pop my iPhone in and show you what I mean so your phone instead of being in the center goes at the top now that's perfect because I can angle the phone then to where I want to see it when I'm flying so to get rid of glare, I can angle it to how I like. So it's not in the centre of the transmitter, I can move this about, which I like. So, I'm just going to power it up and show you a couple of things. As I say, I'm not, it's not going to be a test flight today, and I don't even know when I'm going to get that done, but I want to get this out for you. So, normal way, button on the bottom, you have to hold this one in. I think it's four seconds. Just close the battery tray up. Controller on and hold throttle down for three seconds. And it beeps and there you go, you're connected. 
I've got flashing lights obviously because I'm not GPS. So on the controller, let's see if you can see this. So you can see the top flashing zero there. That's your GPS. It's not got any. The voltage on the other side is your battery voltage and your transmitter voltage. You've got your distance and height down here. Various things, quite a lot of things on here. You've then got, take a picture, take a video, take off and land, return to home, speed rating, and your trim buttons. So let's just quickly, quickly show you the app, because I have got the app working, I know it works. So I'm going to settings, just find it, as you, just the standard thing here, find the one you're looking for. Can't remember what it is. YD R108 GPS, see that one? Just connect it to that. And then the app it runs on is FYD Drone. It's available on the App Store on Android. Found it straight away. Didn't have to use the code. Click on that. And there you go. So that's the app. And as you can see, it hasn't got that much lag. Typical affair on the app, you've got all the top fees, you've got altitude, height, speed, and then your position of your craft, where you are in the world, the map, which actually works. That is you telling your craft level of your battery there, and that's right, because it isn't fully charged. And in here you've got some parameters you can adjust for various things. You want your hybrid map, satellite map. So, everything looks great. Now, obviously this is an £88 drone. The camera is not going to be great on this. And if it is, I'll be shocked. So it's £88, but what you're buying is a GPS drone that's supposed to have a 600 kilometre range, a 22 or 23 minute flight time, 1080p camera, and everything else. No position hold. So there's no sensor on the bottom of here. But the proof's going to be in the pudding. What's it going to fly like? I hope it flies well. I don't hold out much hope for the camera, I'll be honest with you. That's not why I bought it. I bought this because for that money, I'm going to have a go at putting a GoPro on the top of it. That was my initial plan. If the camera works and it's really good quality, I've got a bargain. If not, and the GPS works fine and it flies well, I still think it's cheap for what it is to have messed about putting a camera on it. For what you get in the box, I had no idea it came with a case, that was a pleasant surprise when it arrived this morning. The instruction manual is actually very decent. It's a doddle to do your compass calibration, there's no messing around. I've seen the, AS, the Ascendma, which this does look a little bit like, and I was a little bit worried it was going to be like the Ascendma, but I've seen the Ascendma trying to calibrate a compass, absolute nightmare. This calibrate, because I calibrated it before I hovered it, straight away typical thing one stick down one stick up hold it there till the beep these will flash underneath and you just rotate it until you hear it go beep 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 done compass calibrated so it's got a lot of pluses at the minute but like i say well, let's see what it flies like so thanks ever so much for watching have a fantastic day and i'll see you soon thanks very much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you do please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.